Greetings. I'm Pearl John from Logos Management and I'm truly excited that you could join me week after week. As we continue our journey exploring the foundations of faith, we now turn our focus on the unshakable cornerstone of our faith, the authority of the scriptures. In this age of shifting opinions and ever-changing trends, we stand firm on the bedrock of God's word. To unravel this, I'd like to use the acronym H E A R T to reference the heart of the scriptures, T R U S T to highlight the trustworthiness of the scriptures, and F L O W to point to the flow of the scriptures, which I'm positive will enable us to grasp the power and the authority of God's word and how it transforms our lives. We will essentially unravel the heart of the scriptures and the TRU of the trust and the remaining part of the trust we will cover in the forthcoming week. Heart of the scriptures. The H of heart stands for holy. The scriptures are not just ordinary writings but divinely inspired by the Holy Spirit. From Genesis to Revelation, every word bears the sacred imprint of God's presence. As in 2 Timothy 3 verses 16 and 17 declares, All scripture is breathed out by God and is profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction and for training in righteousness. That the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. E of heart stands for eternal. Though written thousands of years ago, the scriptures transcend time and culture, speaking God's truth to every generation. As the psalmist says in 119, 89 of Psalms, Forever, O Lord, your word is firmly fixed in the heavens. The eternal nature of God's word provides us with the timeless wisdom and guidance for our lives today. A of heart stands for authoritative. The Bible is the ultimate authority for our faith and practice. God's word is the plumb line that straightens our paths and the lamp that lights our way. In Hebrews 4.12 we read, For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and spirit, and joins and up marrow and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. What a wonderful word that is. The R of heart stands for relevant. Despite its ancient origins, the scriptures address our deepest longings, our greatest struggles, and our abounding joys. God's word speaks into our lives with profound relevance, guiding us through every circumstance that we go through. As Psalmist says in Psalm 119 and 105, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. And the T of Heart stands for trustworthy. The Bible is a trustworthy and reliable source of truth. Throughout history, it has withstood scrutiny and criticism, remaining unshaken and unaltered. The words of our Savior Jesus Christ attest to this when he said in Matthew chapter 24 and 35, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. Imagine a young child trying to assemble a complex toy without instructions as to how to do it. Frustrated and overwhelmed, the child turns to their wise and loving parent who gently hands over the manual. Similarly, the scriptures are our heavenly instruction manual, guiding us through life's challenges with divine wisdom. We move on to the TRU of a trust. T of trust stands for transforming. The word of God possesses transformative power. It convicts our hearts, renews our minds and molds us into the image of Christ. As Paul encourages in Romans chapter 12 and 2, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. R of uh, trust stands for reliable. The reliability of the scriptures is beyond question. The Bible's historical accuracy and the prophecy's fulfillment testify of its divine origin. In Isaiah 40 and 8, we read the grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. 
The U of trust stands for unifying. The scriptures have a remarkable ability to unite believers across cultures and denominations and backgrounds. God's word brings us together as one body in Christ, fostering love and harmony among his people. As Paul exhorts in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 10, I appeal to you brothers by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that all of you agree and that there be no divisions among you. That brings us to the close of today's message. The heart of the scriptures point us to the quintessence of the scriptures and the TRU of trust point us to the characteristics of the scriptures. May the Lord open our eyes to see the treasures embedded in the scriptures and make us effective abiders of his word. This is Pearl John signing off The Other 167. Thanks for watching The Other 167. Please do join in the next week as we continue this series. God bless you.